Is this a secret? Somehow. I'll take it in a sec. Oh, fart crystal. Don't mind if I do. Here you go, that missed everybody. Sorry, I didn't need those anyway. Just big waste. Where do I go? Ow! Do I need to fall off? No. You are the burp master. Oh, is this more Silent Hill 4 or the burp? Yeah, burping nurses. The best part of the game. Ah uh, yes, Silent Hill 4, the, the popular horror series. Burping nurses is the best they could come up with. Nurses. Oh, I got the red key, okay. If only I could see the items I was picking up through all the chaos. Sorry mate, thanks and everything, but no survivors. Wait, the red was up here somewhere, wasn't it? Boing. There. What a lovely safe room. Oh. They do a lot of damage as well. Vagina hallway. Yeah, so are they. Like a fart crystal. I forgot how chaotic this game gets, especially on this difficulty. Hello, best enemy in the game. To do. Yeah. Bum, the most highlight worthy message. Bye, Muff Gib. The best type of girl. Normal human minotaur. Centaur, slime cow, snake. Clearly. Cat girl is also good. But snake is the best because reptile. Hmm, yeah, dog girls are good too. They'd probably be after cat. Lickable nap. Only if Zack decides to share with us, which he probably won't. Dog is never the answer. What about Corone? However you say it. She even got, like, a reference in Doom Eternal, was it? I think so. Hello. I guess you even get increased fire rate. Or frequency, rather. Isn't this only... Oh. I think there's something around here that's only destroyable with soap. Yes. This. Seems practically indestructible. Practically. Oh. 
How can you be in lava? I just remember Cultic as well. A tiny barn. Maybe I even like Cultic more than Dusk these days. Yum. Yum! Dusk was like the first best one. And then lots of other amazing ones started coming out. Especially in recent years. Ugh. Oh no, it's the baby secret. Mm. Beat this episode on Dusk, man. What the hell? Great, now I know a second person who's done it. Even managed to low tech. Oh, each level. Bloody hell. I don't know how you have the sanity for it. I barely kept my sanity on this difficulty. Oh yeah, the long corridor with all the mages. You can't not crossbow that room, that's just too fun. Hi, Crash. Hope you are well today. I do want to be the panties. Yeah, come tick. Beautiful game, can't wait for episode 2. It's a shame it's probably still far off. Lavender's Secret. Strange Babby. I don't know why it's strange, it's just a baby. But babies are just strange creatures. Amazing level design right there. As was that. Whoa! I couldn't see, it was too dark. Bong. Was that a full ammo refill for everything? I think so. I don't like certain elements. I think the only thing that I can remember that I don't like about Cultic was like the enemies blend in a lot or seem similar at a glance. Like, oh, well, it's a Cultic. What gun has he got this time? I can't tell until he shoots me. But then I guess that's just normal anyway, because different... I mean... I don't know. They're probably not going to look too different from each other. But in a video game, it's quite important, I think. Can't believe Drac hates Dusk. It is rather, rather rubbish. Now that I'm playing it, after having played all the others, I'm realising just how trash this one is. But it's a good thing I like trash. No, not that kind of stinky. Said Graven had been abandoned. If you'll say the same thing about wrath, angry mobs. I mean, I guess it's understandable because of all the, like, missed release dates and stuff, and all the stuff from the uh, roadmap that have been dropped. People buying the game in early access, hoping for the promised things, but but then not getting them. But hopefully they know not to buy early access in future, I guess. Second chapter of it comes out. We surpassed Dusk. Are you saying chapter one didn't? Yeah, definitely up there. Among the bestest. Very satisfying game. Looks like you. Oops. You already had the hair. Fancy hair. How are you alive? That was like a million mortars. I don't understand. Hello? Is there someone down here? No. I can't see anything because the flashlight's off when I load it. What a lovely night. Now this is too much health. Impossible with just the sword. And Duskmere. 
the tunnel with all the mages. I imagine it might be possible somehow, but very unreasonable. Yeah, I don't know, because they fire so fast. Not doing up too much apart from uni work. Looking for a new crash event. Oh, in uh, Crash Bash or whatever. <laughs> oh, glad you are good. Let's get out of here. And you, you better believe I'm going to skip the gauntlet level. I don't know, I might give it a go. But I don't particularly want to do it. bed around here. They got rid of the beds. I can't... Boop? I can't believe this. Dusk. That symbol. Whoa. Whoa. Ow. Ah, what peaceful music. Killing myself more than anything. A bit of elf over here. That secret's gone. I don't know why there's only two of you. There was supposed to be three. Ugh. Skewer myself. Why is chat not scrolling? Oops. I naffed up at some point. Idea factory on the PS2. Absorbed. A five tower rogue lake. 10,000 floors. Bloody hell. No thanks. Pre ordering. Ruining everything. Early access can be okay, but Wrath did it badly. Supposed to be given updates so that the early accessors can help you test and like experience the game as it goes along. But then there were years of nothing. The dark areas. Hmm. I don't remember. Yeah, I guess there were some some tricky dark areas. But I think I think I um I don't remember any particularly annoying dark areas. Excuse me, welcome to the chat room. Twitch being weird again. Summer Forest. Oh, a throwback level from Spyro. I don't remember what I've pre ordered. Probably some things. I don't remember the last time I pre ordered something though. Porcupine's tree. Oh, an album. That's okay to pre order, probably. 90% of physical RPGs with pre orders. Yeah. Yeah, pre ordering is supposed to be for like, so that you ensure you get a copy before they run out of physical copies, so digitally it doesn't make any sense. I guess that's why they do the limited time like pre-order and get this bonus item or a discount to trick you into it. To try and convince you so they can get money early and then release a bad game because they know they're not going to get money when it actually releases. Mass Builder Dual... Mass Builder Dual Gear I've never heard of those two. Should get Pua 2, I don't know what that is. Piss War 2. I played the demo of Project Warlock 1 and it seemed okay, but didn't really get me too interested in the series. Hi, Ketchup. Hope you are well today. Money bags will be a feature. Is he going to sell you microtransactions? 
It would be nice if you get to beat him up again though. Oh, Project Warlock here. Great, here we go. Even on whatever difficulty I did the playthrough on, I had to like keep save scumming this. But I guess mostly you can run around and let them take each other out. For most of the time. But they're gonna hit you sometimes anyway. Just because of weird fire scattering. Zoo generis, did you did you do this level on Duskmer like this way or did you do the um the the, the skip that they give you? Because they knew they made a mistake with this level. I think Blaze did this level with you. That was a mistake, fire. I don't know why I did it. That was a waste. Yeah, I'll, I'll save it. I'll do it legit. We'll get there eventually, even if I have to save and load a bunch. Certainly don't blame you. I don't know why I'm picking those up. She did it on Duskmare, yeah. I know she went through the game on Duskmare, but I... But I mean, like, specifically, I, I think she did this fight on Duskmare and didn't take the, didn't take the easy way out. me out of here. Imagine doing this without taking a single hit. Impossible. Without a healthy dose of luck. I mistakenly thought you couldn't save it in the middle of this though. That would be silly. Finish the winner. <laughs> Is that supposed to be hard? This has been a big mistake. What the hell? He flew from behind. Party over there. Um, I can't drink during this. You having a giggle? I can now though, as soon as these go away. There. It's like fighting a bunch of Fausts. Yeah. Hmm. Wait, what? On Duskmare? Mm, just been Quake 3 and that sounds good to me. But yeah, not bad here, thanks. 
Money bags, microtransactions, yeah. No, it wouldn't be clever. It would be a bad idea, and I wouldn't buy it. I probably would, though. I tried Dying Light 1 fairly recently with Reptiloid, but I think I've kind of been disenchanted with open-world survival crafty games. I guess it's not really a survival, but open-world crafty games. The combat is fun, though, and satisfying. But like after three or four hours of playing it, I don't care about any of the NPCs or the story or anything, so I, I don't really have any investment in it. I guess the loot might be worth it though. The weird man character. Maybe someday. I guess all you would have to do is just come back and replay this level on Dusk May. You don't have to go through the whole thing again at least. I don't remember how it ended. Oh, I do. How could you forget that? It was the best boss in the game. I'm sure you'll remember immediately. But yeah, quite trippy. Don't recommend Dying Light 2. I thought that was good now. Sue was corny. Is Sue a dog? Hello? Wow. Scary noises. Isn't this the last wave, actually? Probably not. Showdown. Yeah, the homing balls are always annoying. Hello? I always have trouble finding this last guy. There you are. Oh yes, land on me. In bed. Sorry. that to escape in an emergency. Doing this bit without taking damage is pretty much luck. Unless you stay far away, I guess. Oh, new stuff has spawned. Somehow it's not over. sort each other out for a bit. Boing. Gonna miss Drippy. I've gotten to experience him a bit more at least because I, I ended up doing the side quests off stream. I'm not finished yet but probably gonna play it after the stream and finish it up and then uninstall it. Yeah, the side quests, that they are a little bit more interesting, I guess. So they might have been worth streaming, but they're still mostly just wandering around the whole world and back again. Coming and going to NPCs and different points in the world just to look at a thing and then go back and talk to someone. Those robots, those broken robots that we were finding and and also those stones on the world map that had weird text on them were indeed part of it. Well, they killed all of them for me. Oh no, rats. This is the worst wave. Here, gather round. Oh, I didn't... I didn't realise they could bounce too. <laughs> That's amazing. 
I guess. Not that it was anything particularly special, it was just funny. So this is where any normal person might have a proper giggle. Whereas with me, it was weird, weird breathy laugh. I don't know, whatever, I'm, I'm overthinking again, stop. Stop wanting to be like someone else. It gave me an amuse, that's what matters. Didn't I already deal with you? Are they recycling enemies in this now? Ow. Damage through no fault of my own. health lying about, yeah. Oh wait, there haven't been cowgirls yet, have there? Step aside to try and dodge, and it just goes right into me. Get angry at them. There they are. The trouble has arrived is actually probably the easier wave. Because their shots go in a straight line instead of all over the place. As long as you're not running towards them. Save it. The clothes today, I've been missing them all. It's not fair. You know Cooney 3, that would be nice. I'm looking forward to trying the second one eventually. To see that combat and see if the side quests are any better. Yeah. I can't think of any off the top of my head that have good side quests. I mean, a lot of the ones that come to mind don't really have side quests that are like handed to you. They're mostly stuff that like you could discover in the world, like Golden Sun, there was all these places you could go to and optional objectives that you have to figure out yourself, rather than just, here's a list of people who want you to go and give them something, or take something to someone, someone else. Did I do it? What? I don't remember the bosses. Oh no. I suppose they don't fight each other. La 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 la. Bye. I can't dodge this. It's actually undodgeable. alive, I guess I'll save that. <laughs> I've got to read chat. I'm going to pause it here. Killed a thousand twenty-seven this month, not, not got on the drop. I thought my streams were supposed to help. Cyberpunk is amazing. Now it is, maybe. It's a nice setting as well. Glad they managed to fix it up. Hmm. People calling it a 
a Souls game. It has many Souls elements, at least. It's more ridiculous when they call Armored Core a Souls game, though. Oh yeah, as Castus said. It's pretty close to a Souls Lake, I guess. I tried the demo of Thymesia, however you say it, and didn't enjoy it for some reason. Probably too different from, for me. Wow. Yes, be over there when you attack. Then I have a chance to dodge. I feel like last time I went through the game on this difficulty I didn't even do this. So this might be a first. <laughs> I'm feeling big regretty though now. Die, no. That's probably save worthy. I don't know why he's having a giggle. I just got like a moment of safety. He wants to see me win. Scummage. <laughs> Hello, die. We've got like one health left each. Well, when you load it, the enemies lose aggro, apparently. done. I don't remember if... Oh, okay, we are done. I don't remember if the other bosses spawned as well. Ah. Freedom. 3D bullet hell, basically. It looks like a Toho level. Yon, yon. Now the rest of this is basically easy, I think. I don't remember the final bosses being particularly hard. Especially the actual final boss. Because it doesn't have bullet hell. It's all very avoidable. Excellent. You spoke too late. At least say it when the final wave ends so you have time to finish saying it before I go. Is that it's only really useful for you to kill the thing that drops it quicker. What's the point then? That's like in JRPGs where when you beat the hardest optional fight you get a weapon that you don't need anymore because nothing else is that hard. Wait, skill tree? There's a skill tree in Armored Core. Now I want it. Letter counter. What? I don't know what that is. Oh, oh right. Yeah. The, 
Weapon system. Ooh. Oh yeah. Ooh. Very silly. No, oh, I guess you're talking talking about a different game with skill tree. Seven enemies. Well, try putting the crystals in more convenient places, and you wouldn't have to wait for long. Instead, I have to wander around, drink some beer. My crosshair's gone. There it is. How many secrets? One. Why? What a cool guy. Not really. Can there be a bed in here? No. There can be a fart crystal. Wait, it is a fart crystal. No, it isn't. It says crystal of madness. That's what those are called, I think. None of these better explode. The secret is probably in this map, this area, but I don't remember it. Hello? Oh. I thought that was a morale gem. No, I think I'll just go and finish the game. favorite parts of the game. It is pretty cool. The calm before the storm, and then you go into the blender. I'm gonna go to sleep. Yeah, there's only like 10 minutes of the game left anyway, if that. Unless this boss gives me problems. Something a dragon would have a fart crystal, probably. Well, it depends what the dragon's into. They can probably crystallize their own farts and drop them on a village. Hello! <laughs> At last! <laughs> what a gremlin! You finally arrived! Complete gremlin! You shall be my final test! It's Quake 3 Arena. Fine! He's got bouncy legs! I can't hit him. I think I've weirdly had the most luck hitting him with the grenades in the past. Yes. I don't know how. It's like he, he homes in on them for some reason. He's going, hup, hup. I don't remember him doing that in non HD. No, Easy. No, you can't betray me. My disciples! Well, they did. Unworthy indeed. It's just too easy, really, isn't it? Ad started. Oh, bloody hell. Wait. Yeah, let me react again. Um, oh yeah, it is a cool part of the game. The calm before the storm. Just a fun little treasure hunt before it all goes to hell. But it was an easy kind of hell. Parry play style super cool and powerful. Good. Re um, re uh, not required. Um, what's the word for not required? Yeah, well, yeah, optional. Hmm. Brain works today. Does it ever? Um, optional parry is always good. That's why I don't want to play Sekiro, because of all the required timed guarding and stuff. Puts me off. Thank you for releasing me. Get nasty knock to crystallize. Oh, yeah. People would probably buy that. Probably good alchemy supplies. 
your gun wasn't out for half the fight. Oh, wait, does he does he take damage to his own grenades? I guess you could do like a pacifist run then, just get him to kill himself. It gives no illumination. I don't know if I've ever pressed a flashlight in this level. <gasps> Heaven! War! He was worthy. Go away, Betruga. And he accomplished so much. Barely remember it. But then I think we can see why. Came along. Too easy, you not worth remembering. Who was stronger? You gotta you remember this though. Who were faster? You I like better. Who did you expect at the end of all of this? I don't know, my wife? God? The devil, perhaps? I was kind of hoping for him, to be honest. No. It's just... me. Oh. Hello, Tentacalia. Oh, that was that side. Forgotten, apparently. This going all sorts of wrong. Is me talking about how easy this boss is? The stuff down here. Stuff that I want. Platform. Ow. Right, let's do it properly now, shall we? Apparently not. Is that a sweep? I need to look at the telegraphs a bit better. So I can learn. Okay, yeah. I feel like his animations are sped up. I'm not sure. Oops. Ow! Clumsy. Kobolds shouldn't play games. That's that side again. Oops. a sweep. Oops. The telegraphs. They're very fast. It's okay, I've learned them now though. I think. I have as well. that up. You're gonna have to slam the ground though, sir. There's no music for some reason. I don't know what happened. And so now, my power 
is yours. That's mighty unfortunate. Pacifist? What? I did anything but pacifism. Not required is were mandatory. <laughs> That's a pretty good one, that is. Yum. How does it feel? Pretty good, actually. Horrible. Now the stream finished. But wonderful, yes. <laughs> what? Who you Gollum. For is insignificant. One of the best endings here. Who you are now? I like that boss. Inconceivable. But here you shall remain. Stefan, wait. Till I have need of you again. Is that this voice actor? For one must always reign beneath dusk. Whatever. <laughs> what are you on about? I don't even get it. In the end you win but you lose. Anyway, very tasty, as always. Definitely last time I'm gonna play on that difficulty though. Probably. It was fine, it was it was doable, obviously. But it's not my comfort level. Harder to predict his swings in the HD version. Yeah, I don't remember exactly what it was like in the original, but I did feel like I had more trouble this time than before. At least until I specifically looked, I guess, but... I always remember him being really easy. Might be his avatar. I'm not really sure how it works. All this eldritch nonsense. I could be everything and nothing at the same time. Yeah, always the voice actor. I don't know if I know the name Stefan Waite, but he's a good voice actor. That was a good voice. Played K- oh! Oh, yeah. Now that you mention that, I vaguely remember hearing that. That's cool. Yes, Danka. For Lavender. Wasn't there a Lavender secret? Pray that you never meet me in my thousand other forms. There's going to be a thousand other Dusk games, holy shit. Either that or there's going to be a Dusk game with a thousand bosses in it. Dusk man, never. Never touching it. Here, let's try it right now. See how far I can get. Just to finish this off. Constantly missing the jump pad, yeah. In hindsight, it probably would have been a good idea to, like, be standing behind the jump pad while facing him instead of in front of it. That probably would have gone better, so I can see the jump pad in front of me. Intruder. Eh. So, welcome to the Dusk playthrough. It's gonna be pretty good, probably. Apparently that was a secret. Get used to this trend in this game. Today we're going for world record run. The world record in, in dying as quick as possible. Accidentally. Oh, okay. Oh, hello. Kill the intruder. Yeah, that, that was the um, world record run. This is impossible, I'm quitting this rubbish game. Oh, oops. I thought that was just going to take me to the menu. 